What's good, YouTube? Big Cool here from Colossal Sports TV, and I am back with another video. Before I get into the video, go ahead and smash up that like button, hit that subscribe button, and that post notification bell button to get notified every time I upload content. Also, go follow me on Instagram at Colossal underscore Sports TV. Now, let's get into the video. I'll post the link from 3kingsboxing.com in the description below for you so you can check it out for yourself. But the WBO has ordered Billy Joe Saunders versus Demetrius Andre. Both sides have 10 days to negotiate and reach an agreement. Um if neither guy can uh neither side can do that, it will be uh it will go to a purse bid. Um this is a very, very, very intriguing fight. I don't know if y'all remember the Google Hangout I had two or three weeks ago with my boy um, 2K from the Prodigy of Boxing Talk uh, was on. We talked about this fight as a potential um, one down the line. And now this is a very good chance that it happens. You know, I don't, I can't fathom Demetrius Andre passing up on a title opportunity. I just can't. You know, he's recently parted ways with his long time. Uh, promoters at Starbucks and, and Banner Promotions, and now he's a free agent. You know, there's rumors that he's being courted by Top Rank and Eddie Hearn. And if that's true, then that's good for him. That shows a couple people are interested in him. He's burned a few bridges um, throughout his career, but he's a very talented um, fighter, undefeated, 25 and 0, 16 knockouts, former WBO and WBA regular junior middleweight champion, been in the ring with Vanis Martirosian. Uh, Willie, Willie Nelson. You know he he's a very good fighter, former 2008 Olympian. This is a fight that can get him on the map, get him back on the map. Uh, he's 29, he's 29 or 30 years old. Uh, he's kind of been on the back burner due to self-inflicted bad decisions throughout his boxing career, but he's made one great decision in parting ways with his um former uh promoters, like I just mentioned. So now he's a promotional free agent. He's not bound to any network, any promoter, so he can fight on the zone. ESPN, Showtime, if they'll have him. HBO, if they'll have him back. Um, he was last in the ring against uh, Alantez Fox, where he whipped his ass for a unanimous decision in his middle, middleweight uh, debut. Billy Joe Saunders, who was supposed to fight Martin Murray twice, but pulled out both times due to injuries, uh, has been rumored to be facing... Uh, James DeGill, but I don't know where that's going at this point, especially now with this um, mandatory order. I don't, I, 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 like I said, I have a hard time seeing uh, Billy Joe Saunders re re uh, refuse to face uh, Demetrius Andrade unless he has a, a bigger fight um, ahead of him. You know, and I don't know his status in terms of him making another voluntary defense. I think Martin Murray is going to be a voluntary defense. Uh, so maybe he can put in a request to avoid Demetrius Andrade um, if that's what he want to do. Uh, because, like I said, he has a big money fight potentially out there with James DeGale where he will possibly move up to super middleweight or either be a catchweight of 164 or he will f go to the full super middleweight division and take on the former IBF super middleweight champion. Regardless, this is a very intriguing fight. This is a fight that I want to see. Demetrius Andrade is one of my favorite fighters when he fights. He he makes some bonehead decisions, uh, but the guy is ultra talented. The guy um, is a former champion, has all the skills in the world. Uh, he just needs to fight and fight often. You know, get with a good team. You know, sign a good, respectable contract and fight, man. Fight these guys: Jamel, Jamal Charlo, uh, Gennady Golovkin, David Lemieux, uh, Canelo Alvarez. Uh, Whoever, Daniel Jacobs, whoever it may be, fight these guys, man, um, and show that you're one of the best fighters in the world. Uh, I think this fight is excellent. I don't know who I favor. Uh, both guys uh, fought last year. Both guys um, shouldn't be too rusty. It'll be very intriguing. It'll be intriguing because we don't know which Andre to show up. Will it be the one who who's moving fluidly, jab on point, combinations on point, defense on point, or be the one that's in there sloppy, um, just going through the motions? You know, against Billy Joe Saunders, he's going to have to be on point. 
because Billy Joe Saunders is a very talented fighter. He's very elusive, very awkward. He's not a big heavy hitter, but uh, he's an overall very good fighter. Been in the ring with Dave Lemieux, Andy Lee, um, Chris Eubank Jr., you know, Willie Monroe. So he's he's a solid fighter, man. Um, and he definitely poses some problems for Andre, but vice versa. You know, Andre is athletic. He's rangy, has some pop on his punches, can box, um, has some fast hands. So we'll see, man. Hopefully this fight gets uh, finalized and no BS um, happens. But this is boxing, and that would be too much like a right thing to do if this fight gets made. But, you know, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that it, that it does indeed get made um leave your comments in the comment section down below give me your thoughts on this fight who do you favor um billy joe saunders or demetrius andre and why shout out to everybody in the movement that is moving with us be sure to check out three kings boxing.com for your latest and greatest boxing news unfiltered unbiased reported the way it should be and remember to share these videos all over social media facebook twitter instagram snapchat google plus um any any uh social media platform that you use and if you like this channel this content just share it, man and tell them to subscribe to colossal sports tv until next time i'm out peace